Hey everybody, it's Ed with Dual Brain MTG here. And we are in the middle of it, so let's talk about the summertime lull. I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass, and I'm all out of bubblegum. Summertime MTG lull. Happens every year. We're in the midst of it. I see it in my views. It's painful to see, like, things have gone way down, Dave just stayed there. I've seen it in other people's views too. <coughs> That's a sign from the algorithm. <laughs> Screwing around, right? So the summertime lull in magic, it's a yearly thing. It makes sense. Weather's nice. People go outside. People go on vacation. A lot less activity. Prices kind of calm down. Things aren't as crazy. And so it's, a, it's what we call a feedback loop, right? So people are going to do stuff and less excited about magic. And so there's less exciting stuff happening. And so there's less videos about it. And so now there's less people uh, going crazy about it and making craziness. And now there's less people interested in magic. So that means that there's less people being excited about it and making less videos. And therefore, the, you know, it feeds itself. So during the summer, things get real slow. Don't worry. The prices aren't crashing. Wait till people are buying for the freaking uh, Christmas. Wait till people get Christmas bonuses. Wait till uh tax returns come around things come back it happens every year it's it's dramatic it really is and it's it's painful from this end where you're making videos and nobody's watching them right we're in the middle of the summertime lull but this is the craziest year for magic and they've really ramped up the speed of their production so it's like i feel like almost like Commander Legends 2 was like, uh, how many times am I going to say like, was a sacrifice to the MTG summertime gods, you know, something like that. So that it was just a set to, to give up and hope that all the other sets get really, you know, bought up. I don't know. That's just random speculation. Me talking some shit. But really, the speed of their new products it's like it's like they're not even acknowledging the summertime lull and they used to they used to used to get a break from sets and a, a time to regather your wallet and to go experience the world and you know the speed of products coming out in the mtg world it's like god damn guys please go take a minute to yourself and just chill out we don't need to be looking at magic products all day like even me yeah i make these films but I make time to go do, you know, life, <laughs> to go do life. Um, yeah, I mean, during the winter, obviously, there'll be more live streams, there'll be more announcements, there'll be more madness, everybody's stuck inside, it makes sense. So during these summertime lulls, go enjoy life. But don't forget about your magic cards. Don't forget about the fact that the market is in a low right now. It's time to buy. Just. People get distracted either way. They get too into magic or too away from magic. And like, I feel like there needs to be, for most people, more of a middle ground. And you know, that's crazy coming from me who's sitting amongst all this crap, right? <laughs> but like, you need to have a balance and a little bit of a middle ground because you can get burnt out on magic or you can come back to magic and be like, damn, I missed out. And so you, you wanna have a, 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 a finger some skin in the game you know a finger in the pie whatever the freaking term is but you want to be there you don't want to let it pass you by because you remember what it was like when you when you initially quit magic when you were younger 14 years old or whatever and then you came back to it later on when you're 24 and you're like damn what did i miss i can't believe i sold all my cards i didn't i lost but I can't believe I got rid of my cards. I can't believe I lost them. I can't believe my mom gave them away. This, that, or the other thing, right? And then you come back and you're like, ah, it's awesome. I don't know why I went away and I, I regret it and this and that. I regret what I sold. So by keeping that light touch, that, you know, finger on the pulse, skin in the game, you won't have that experience again. You know what I mean? Because you'll be aware of what's happening and you can make the conscious decision as it's happening. Like for those of you who missed out on um, these guys, Double Masters VIP, okay? Right now, 
look, go buy these. It's going to be the same thing. It's just if you're if you left for the summer, you're going to miss it again. You'd be like, oh, no, I missed double masters again. So, all right. So during the summertime lull, it's just something to think about. Just remember, it's there. It's not the entire market. Like, yeah, it is partially the entire market, but then you add the summertime lull to it and it seems worse and lower than it is. The summertime lull is something to just take into account and know it's there. It's just, I don't know why Wizards does it. And you're like, they knew in the past, but they don't know anymore. It's so weird. Anyway, just uh, now in the middle of it, felt it needed to be talked about. Summertime lulls. Everybody, uh, if you're going to be buying any old magic cards today, please use my TCG player affiliate link in the description. It is free to use. You just click through and shop like normal and it helps a lot. Check out my Patreon. We got some cool stuff happening. Um, you need some more people for some OG box breaks because, uh, you know, summertime lull, people are busy. So we need uh, more people. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Otherwise, have a great day. I'll catch you soon. Take care, everybody. Uh, peace. That's it, man. Game over, man. Game over. What are we going to do now? What are we going to do? Maybe we can build a fire, sing a couple of songs, huh? Why don't we try that?